Hey YouTube, Nick and Carrie here, welcoming you to another weekly gaming recap. Bringing you all your gaming highlights for the week of July 6th, 2012. Before we start off today's recap, we'd like to take a minute to give a shout out to Nick and Sharon at www.fromthedpad.com who graciously had us on their podcast this week. We had a lot of fun talking it up with them and you guys should definitely check out their weekly podcast full of what we all want, fun and games. A new action figure made by NECA of Valve's Gordon Freeman will be available sometime this September. This poseable figurine is 7 inches tall and will come with two sets of interchangeable hands and have four accessories, a bug bomb, a gravity gun, a head crab, and Gordon's trusty crowbar. The figure is priced just right at $18. Oh, what a glorious thing it is when one of your favorite childhood games gets an HD remake. This time, it's the remake for Sega's Knights, hitting PC, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. Sadly, there's no word yet on if it will include the Christmas content, but it will have an alternate Saturn mode for the purists and for those who want to remember just how far we've come. Terminal Reality, the developer of Fury 3, a game that I loved back when it came with my Packard Bell 486SX25, is moving on to bring another game we're all sure to love, the Walking Dead first-person shooter game. Now if you think this is nonsense, know that Telltale has already come out with their Walking Dead game based on the show, and this one is based on the comic book, so it's going to be okay. 2004 strategy game Total War is finally getting its sequel called Total War Rome 2. According to Creative Assembly Studios communication manager Al Bickham, the goal is to let the players rewrite history in the single player campaign mode and let them conquer the world as they see fit. The game is set to launch sometime next year. The leak that Final Fantasy VII was going to be relaunched on the PC is now official. The game will feature achievements, cloud saves, and potentially a character boost which would allow players to increase HP, MP, and in-game money. The game plans to release in the US and Europe in English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. No word on when the game will be available as the website just listed as coming soon, where it will be exclusive to the Square Enix store. The biggest video game eBay auction I've ever seen ended with the winning bid at $999,999.99 euro or $1,230,699.99 for those of us that live in the US. It included full collections of NES, SNES, N64, GameCube, Virtual Boy, Sega Master, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, Sega Saturn, and Dreamcast games with many of them being factory sealed. How the seller amounts to this collection is unknown, but for the lucky winner of this auction, rest assured this is a great achievement for them. You've used the portal editor to make your own test chambers, but what if you could do it by hand? Lego Kuso has a portal Lego set that's trying to be made. The set would include GLaDOS's chamber, a 12-inch tall GLaDOS, a modular testing chamber complete with turrets, cubes, a portal gun, and more accessories. With your vote, this set could become a reality, just like the Minecraft set that was made earlier this year. And don't forget to also vote for the Castle Crusher set that we spoke about last week. Let's settle this. <laughs> Which is the superior version of Aladdin, the Super Nintendo or the Genesis version? Kotaku writer Kirk Hamilton got into a heated conversation with columnist Lisa Foyles about which was the better of the two games. Cast your vote now to see which is the superior game. My pick? Having actually played both, I have to side with Kirk and pick the Genesis version. Well now, the EU has really thrown the hammer down with this ruling that's actually beneficial to gamers. They've ruled that you are allowed to sell your digital games no matter what the long-winded EULA you never read actually says. There's still a way to go before you can make a living flipping the bounty of games you bought during a Steam sale for $5, but hey, it's a start. How mind-bending is DayZ? Well, if you read the account of Adam Rauch, while he live-tweeted a kidnapping in the game, it's pretty damn freaky. 
Now who says games aren't full of emotion? There might be a new video game console on the horizon, but it's not a new player. Rather, it's leveraging the existing Android market to bring you games on your big screen. Right now, the Oya has a little more than a mock-up, but they hope to even include a developer's kit and officially allow you to hack the hardware. And it's going to focus on free-to-play games as well. If this pans out, it will be a very interesting addition to our already gamified lives. Speaking of game changing, Sony has upped the game changing factor to 10 by buying Geikai, a service provider that has the hardware and software to allow streaming video games right to your screen with no downloads or retail purchase needed. Anyone who thinks this won't change gaming needs to realize they just spent $380 million buying the company. There's definitely something remarkable to come from this pairing and we can't wait to see the fallout. There's some people who enjoy their hardware, and then there's people who want to see how far and fast their hardware can go. A PC enthusiast named Hazen is one of the latter, and while I've always dabbled in water cooling and overclocking, he takes it to a whole nother level using liquid nitrogen and a 4-way SLI NVIDIA GTX 680 setup to beat the previous 3D Mark 11 high score by a mere 39 points. Ah, the sweet chill of success. This week's top story is, you must see these stunning photos of Game of Thrones set in Minecraft. Minecrafters have been working tirelessly to form the entire medieval world of Game of Thrones in the Minecraft universe, and it is awesome. Check out the video and pictures to see this world in all its glory as it comes to life. Once again, we'd like to thank our friends over at From the D-Pad, Nick and Sharon, for inviting us on their show. Be sure to check out their podcast at www from the dpad.com where they give witty banner about games and news every week. We'd love to be a part of your show again anytime. For more information on any story we covered, check the links in the description below. Check us out on our website at www.weeklygamingrecap.com. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash wgamingrecap and subscribe to us here on YouTube. Until, Until next time, time. See, see you later. later.